We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Today I am going to teach the priority algorithm, priority pro, um, process scheduling algorithm. Okay, so there are main two parts of the priority algorithm. It is a max priority algorithm and mean priority algorithm. Okay, and uh, max priority algorithm is further divided into main two parts. First one is preemptive algorithm, preemptive priority algorithm, and second one is non-preemptive priority algorithm. Okay and uh, same way minimum priority algorithm is divided into two part uh, preemptive priority algorithm and non preemptive priority algorithm okay so let us start with without arrival time okay let us start with priority algorithm without arrival time so without arrival time means each and every process has arrival time value is equal to zero okay and uh, for the max priority and mean priority there is uh, there is a uh, totally depend on one uh, concept and the concept is if uh, concept is that if uh, for the priority algorithm in the question there is one uh, 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 sentence if if one sentence is add with the question uh, that uh, if max priority number is equal to highest priority or mean priority number equal to highest priority okay so there is a difference if the max priority number is equal to highest priority it means max priority algorithm and mean priority number is equal to highest priority it means mean priority algorithm okay so it is totally depend on this concept okay so let us start with mm, mm, uh, max priority algorithm okay so question is process there are five processes bus time and uh, priority number is already given in the table okay so mm, here the first process uh, i consider the first process uh, p3 okay i consider the p3 as a first process for the execution okay because here the maximum priority number is equal to highest priority it means uh, for the uh, in the table there are five priority values for each and every process but i consider the highest priority number is equal to highest priority it means which process has highest largest priority number large, uh, biggest priority number then it is considered as a first priority so i consider p3 for the uh, uh, p3 first uh, for the execution okay so i consider p3 for execution so p3 starting value is 0 plus 0 plus burst time of p3 so it is a 0 plus 6 then after uh, 4 why 4 p4 because um, then after the largest value is equal to 4 priority value is equal to 4 so i consider the p4 then 6 plus burst time of p4 is equal to 8 so 6 plus 8 is equal to 14 okay so then uh, the largest priority number is equal to 3 so here p1 okay 14 plus burst time of p1 so 14 plus 10 24 and then after largest power it is equal to 2 so it is a 2 so p2 24 plus 2 26 then at last p5 1 so 26 plus 4 is equal to 30 okay so i create one chart based on the priority algorithm okay so same way i find the waiting time and burst time so, so for the waiting time it is a start time minus arrival time so p3 starting time of p3 minus arrival time so here the arrival for all processes arrival the value of the arrival time is zero so here zero minus zero 
plus for p4 the starting value of the p4 is equal to 6 minus 0 so starting value of the p1 is equal to 14 minus 0 for p2 and p5 and divided by total number of processes for the finding average value okay so and uh, next one is uh, for uh, turnaround time the waiting if uh, require the turnaround time then the equation of the turnaround time is equal to waiting time plus bus time so here we got the uh, value p3 waiting time of p3 is equal to 0 0 plus bus time of p3 which is given in the table then the p4 the waiting time of p4 is 6 6 plus bus time which is already given in the table okay 6 plus bus time of p4 so then after we get the turnaround time of all the processes and for average value we divided the number of processes okay so we can get the average value of the turnaround time okay for max priority algorithm and if for the mean priority if uh, in the question there is a mean priority number is equal to highest priority uh, then we consider uh, the minimum priority number so the smallest value of the priority number is equal to 1 so we consider the p5 at the first position okay for the execution so based on this sentence we consider the p5 then uh, p2 then after p1 then after p4 and then after p3 okay so it is a difference between max priority number and mean priority number okay mean priority algorithm and max priority algorithm okay so let us start with priority uh, algorithm with arrival time so with arrival time is totally depend on main two part preemptive priority algorithm and non preemptive priority algorithm okay so uh, and we consider the max priority number is the highest priority okay so let us start with priority with arrival time okay and uh, priority with first of all we uh, um, uh, start with the non preemptive priority okay so my question is total number of uh, based on question the total processes are 5 uh, bus time it which is given priority number uh, sorry bus time which are given okay priority numbers of all the processes which are given and arrival time of all the processes 0 to 4 okay so let us start with non preemptive priority okay so non preemptive priority so we start with the first uh, uh, sorry here uh, there is a sentence max priority number is equal to highest priority okay so we consider the uh, priority the priority number okay and uh, also this uh, concept is totally depend on the arrival time okay so if non if we apply the non preemptive priority we on we start with always uh, always first process which arrival time the value of the arrival time is zero so we consider the p1 as a first position for execution okay so we start with the p1 so zero then uh, p1 uh, so bus time of p1 is equal to 4 okay so 0 plus bus time so 4 then after we consider here the which which processes has the uh, sorry which processes the arrive the value of the arrival time is 4 and less than 4 okay same as the non sjf algorithm okay so same as the pre non preemptive priority the here we consider the which process has 4 and arrival time the value of the arrival time is 4 and less than 4 so 4 and less than 4 here all the processes are rich till the uh, value for uh, 4 second so we consider this is a simple priority algorithm okay so we cannot depend on the arrival now we cannot depend on the arrival time because at the four process so at the four second all the processes uh, are arrived okay so next one is p4 then question is why p4 okay because it's uh, the value of priority so okay the priority value of p4 is equal to highest priority okay so here uh, p4 is equal to priority value is equal to 5 and p5 priority value is equal to also 5 but uh, in this situation when the prior both value 
values are same for the priority if the both values are same in the bus time at that time we only consider as a fcfs as a p4 okay so we consider the p4 at first okay so 4 plus execution of p4 5 okay so 4 plus 5 9 okay then after 5 because p5 because it's a uh, highest priority number is equal to highest priority so small highest priority number equal to 5 so p5 then high next highest priority number is equal to 4 okay so p3 and add in uh, bus time into this chart okay and at last is a p2 because is uh, priority number is equal to 3 then bus time is equal to 3 so 12 plus 3 is equal to 15 so we create the, uh, based on this concept we create the chart okay so, and uh, again we find the uh, waiting time and turnaround time so we based on equation waiting time is equal to starting time of process minus arrival time so p for for p1 the starting time of p1 is equal to 0 minus arrival time of p1 okay plus for p4 the starting time of p4 4 minus arrival time of p4 so arrival time of p4 is 3 okay so i put the three value into this equation okay same way we can put all the values and find uh, wait and we get the waiting time of uh, waiting time based on this priority algorithm okay and turnaround time for the turnaround time waiting time plus bus time so waiting time of all the processes plus bus time of all the processes so we can get and divide it by the number of process so after at last we can we get the uh, average value of the turnaround time okay so here it is a pre non preemptive priority algorithm so and my next concept is a preemptive priority algorithm okay so it is a same concept as a preemptive sf but in the sf it is considered as a smallest uh, bus time and in the preemptive priority algorithm it consider the priority num based on the priority number okay so let us start with priority algorithm preemptive or priority algorithm okay okay uh, with the same question okay so in the uh, as per the question five processes bus time arrival time and priority number so here largest priority number is equal to highest priority okay so here i put the uh, zero starting position okay so first p1 i start start with the process p1 okay so zero and we consider only the one second from its bus time okay so we considered the one second zero so one zero plus one and so here zero plus one equal to one and uh, remaining bus time is equal to three okay so here i put the three in the table okay for the only reference okay next one is uh, so again we can we check again we check um, the arrive one here the value we can get we get the value is equal to one so again we check which processes have the value of arrival time is equal to one and less than one so based in the table so one and less than one so arrive which process arrival time one and less than one the here two processes have the value of arrival time is equal to one and less than one so uh, p1 and so the uh, these processes are p1 and p2 so we consider the priority value so here pri p1 priority number is equal to 2 and p2 priority number is equal to 3 so uh, both of them the largest priority number we consider the highest priority so both both of them we consider the largest pri priority number so we consider the p2 okay so here 3 okay its birth time is 3 and we consider from the 3 only 1 second okay so remaining second is equal to 2 and only 1 second i add into the chart okay so here 1 plus 2 okay so we final 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 okay next one is uh, 2 and less than 2 again we check 2 and less than 2 so our uh, which processes have arrival time has 2 and less than 2 so here 2 and less than 2 
it means 0 1 and 2 so p1 p2 and p3 so based on this value we consider the priority number so here priority number is equal to 2 3 and 4 so based on priority number the highest priority value is equal to 4 so we consider the p3 and we add the p3 into the chart so here we add the p3 one second two plus one is equal to three again we check three and less than three so which processes have arrival time is equal to three and less than three here uh, process 0 1 and p3 is totally execution uh, the execution of the p3 is completed so because its arrival bus time is equal to one and which uh, uh, I have executed okay so we consider the three processes p1 p2 and p4 okay so p1 p2 and p4 based on this process the highest priority number is equal to p4 so we consider on a bus time of p4 and only five sorry from the five i only consider the one second so remaining second is equal to four and one second i add into the chart so here i add p4 three plus one is equal to four okay next one is four and less than four again check four and less than four so all the processes uh, are arrived uh, all the processes are reached at the system uh, okay so at the four second okay till the four four second so here it is considered the simple priority algorithm so in the simple priority algorithm based on the simple priority algorithm we consider the highest priority number so here p4 because highest priority number is equal to 5 and its bus time is equal to remaining bus time is equal to 4 okay so we consider the p4 so we add 4 value 4 plus 4 8 then after the highest priority value is equal to 5 so 8 plus its bus time then after the bus uh, priority number is equal to uh, p2 priority number is equal to p2 3 so bus time is equal to to remaining bus time is equal to 2 so we add into this chart and at last one p1 so we can uh, so we la at last we get the 15 the value of uh, after execution of the p1 we get the value 15 okay so again same way waiting time is equal to starting time minus arrival time so p1 starting time of p1 is equal to 0 minus arrival time 0 plus starting time okay uh, here there is a difference it is the same as the uh, pre, uh, preemptive sf so here um, the starting time minus arrival time plus next the value of the next p1 so here the value of the next p1 the starting value of the next p1 is equal to 12 minus previous value of the p1 the end value of the p1 okay so here 12 minus 1 so here is equal to 11 for p2 the starting value of the p1 1 minus arrival time of p1 so 1 minus 1 plus next value of the p2 10 starting value of the p2 10 and previous p2 the ending value of the p2 uh, 2 10 minus 2 so here i consider uh, 10 minus 2 is equal to 8 same way we apply this equation for all the processes and we get the values uh, of waiting time for all the process okay and at last for the turnaround time waiting time plus bus time so waiting time plus bus time and divided by total number of processes okay so at last we get the average value 7.6 as a average turnaround time for preemptive algorithm okay